them. Three, we're gonna start putting things together. Set! Courtesy! I'm dead K2 of the martial arts! Shooting creep again! So you have seen it before, and if you are practicing, you have seen it before and seen it recently. So let's go through some details to make sure we're doing the best we can. Half try form three, part A, turn your feet, step out, core stand, rotate to our left. We are doing a four bow, and it is a descending hammer press. It's going down, inverted low block. And then you do a close heel into a shot. That's when the hand opens up. Rotate that door, straight north, into that forward bow. You need to keep it on plant, planted or on the close heel. It's completely up to you, but make sure it goes close to open. Focus on that. So here they're grabbing your hand and you're stepping back into a motion defense. So they're coming into you for that back fist. And this is where we start the punch of the five. Straight north, straight punch. Step the hands left, air the car with the right to the bridge of their nose. Then hands come in, back fist, do not kneel, but rotate in the forward bow with this punch. Other hand goes high and tight. So this is where we start part two. Part two, part A again. Keep together, third step. Part two, part
Now it's time for our self-defense. This is mother's hold. Very important that in our training, we focus. Yes, that word remains important. To breathe. Remain in the moment. Remember who you are. Breathe then breathe out. So all these moves become natural instincts if under pressure. So follow along. Inhale. Push those shoulders up. Grab up by your shoulder. Exhale as you step out. Boom. Drop your weight. Hold it on. Hold on to your left as you elbow with the right. You should drop in the weight. These elbows matter. You don't forget them. Put your hands back up as you elbow again. Take the other hand, other side. Now come back to that shoulder. Bring your foot in and out and drop down. That's what it is. It's not a pull. It's a rotate and drop, letting gravity do the work. Double punch. One, two. Stand up. One step, two step. Out of the situation. I'm going to shovel. Inhale. Drop. One, two, three, four. Punch, punch. One step, two step. Ah, yeah. Let's move on to our scream stick. Last month we did nine through 16. So let us review one through eight. First with our right hand, then our left. Start with our hand in our natural position. We know this from blood cup, but we also know this. And how we start our, our scream step. Step back. There you go, step forward. X high, circle our up, around. Boom, these are the attacks so from our right side, across our body. Back around, pull it back, jab, drop it, up on the head. And bring it back. Numbers don't change. We're just using with our other hand. I'm up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And back. Right hand underneath because we used our left hand. What I'd like you to do right now, athletes, is you're going to do both hands. Your right and your left. And that seems simple enough, but I want you to get not just used to stepping back and stepping forward, but I want you to take some time and move around as you do this. That's the art side of what we're doing. Martial art. And this weapon in its culture includes a lot of movements on fluidity. So we'll give you some time and get to one through eight and a little bit of movement. Thank you. 
Welcome to week two, athletes. Great things are happening. It is officially November. I mean, December. November is over. Let's do week two of this month, which is month two of the cycle. Part B, here we go. Ash right from three, part B, boot bow. We start from that forward bow, right hand is out. We turn our left foot. Keep stick all the way up as we make this that job. Stepping back. Big hug and chop. Stepping back. Big hug and chop. Chris cross. The left leg goes in front. It's a skipping axe kick. Our right leg goes back. Swing it around. Grabbing. Stepping around. Throwing them this way. Not hitting ourselves all around. We're holding on to them. Close me with that back punch. The other hand comes high and tight. We see it in the next bad guy coming. This bad guy, we need to make sure they stay down. We drop our knee as tempo block. Direct line, no chamber, just rotate into that. Boom. Very nice. Feet together and set. Victory, humility, courtesy, man. Feet. There it is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, set. Victory. I thought the central month two was hidden sword. Let's review it. Let's review it now. Trouble. Drop your shoulders. Hide that sword. Step back with our left foot as we rotate. Hands swing as we punch. Keeping our hands up, our guard. Front kick. Back. One step, two step. Add in our three step. Now in trouble. Add your sword. Boom, front kick. Back, one step, two step, three step. I'm gonna give you some time right now. I want you to practice that front kick, landing back, our one step, two step, our front leg, eyes on a target. Make, simply make a silly face, mark on the wall, keep your eyes there. Train yourself, that's where the three step happens. Not losing that line of sight. Again, I'm gonna look at this pad right here. Look at the U specifically in century. My left guard stance, right leg back. One step, two step, and two, three. Let's go. Mm -hmm. Starts with the same four F. Boom, boom, boom. This is the block though, so we pull it across. We step back, letting our sticks remove their attack. As we come back in across our body, and up, and back. 
Now that we know the moves, we can add that movement in that we previously, just previously have discussed. One more time, we use my right hand. We'll get to the left. Ready, step back. X, up, block, pull back, step forward, and up. Very nice. Let's do the left hand. Start with the four. One, two, three, four. Walk down. Pull it back. Walk down and up. Again.
for this and for our self defenses. We're going to review them with you, but then I want you to take some time and do them. Not just in the air, but on a human person. Preferably a family member. Don't just go grab some random person outside and say, attack me, bro. Make them sure. What I want you to do, specifically, is to do them blindfolded. This is a drill we do with our teens, our advanced students, and even at black belt testing. So be careful and be brave. Put a blindfold on, breathe, and with control, do your rhino eye troubles. Mother hold and hidden sword. Go. Focus, way to bring the best out of me and yourself. High five. Let's go one, two, one, two, six, six. 